perspective. Listen, y'all, this week or so has really been like the Monique show. Like she has been trending for her comments for the last week or week and a half regarding Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, and Lee Daniels. So listen, y'all, Monique is not having any of this. And I'm like, don't come for her, like for real. So a few days ago, Monique mentioned, actually this was Friday, she mentioned that she got a phone call finally from Tyler Perry. Now, she didn't go into detail about the conversation they had, but she said that she would during her comedy set that evening. So for those of you who don't know, her issue with Tyler Perry is he was actually going around Hollywood saying that Monique was difficult to work with, which according to, to Monique was untrue. And he had got that information from Lee Daniels. Okay. So she says he's calling her trying to play the billionaire. And if you listen to Monique, you know she wasn't going for any of that. She had already played that card with Oprah. She wasn't playing that again. But uh, let me let me take y'all back a little bit. Do y'all remember when Monique had her talk show? I remember it, and I remember a few times listening to her, and I felt like she was actually talking down to us. And in my opinion, that is how Tyler was trying to come at her on the phone. Now, I started listening to some of her podcasts, and I can see now that she was actually coming from a place of love. And some of us do need some tough love. And at that time, I was probably caught up in my feelings, but that's neither here nor there. Folks, I got the clip where she discusses her conversation with Tyler Perry. Y'all, go ahead and comment below, but y'all got to listen to the clip first. Go ahead and comment below. Be honest, do y'all think that Monique should drop all of this, or is she right to keep going at them? <laughs> Just when he walked in the room. But as we were talking to Tyler Perry, see, I want to let y'all know, and like I told a nigga, I don't hold your secrets. See, when he called us up, and he tried to be the billionaire, and I said, nigga, put my deal on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> let me speak to that real bitch, because you fucking this up right now. And to that nigga's credit, he got Madea on the motherfucking phone. And Madea said, Monique, this Madea, and I want you to know I don't suck dick no more. I said, my dear, I didn't tell you to suck my dick. I told that nigga Tyler Perry to suck my dick if I had one. She said, bitch, you right. Let me put this bitch motherfucker back on the phone. Because I ain't got nothing to do with this shit. This between you and this nigga right here. And I told him. I said, I'm going to take it to the stage.